double pigeon requires just as much customization in both sides of your body as it does from person to person throughout the room. You can take double pigeon in many different ways and some blocks are really handy tools to have around. Let's pull a few of these forward. With double pigeon, we want the shins to stack up, kind of like fire logs being stacked up. So the ankles flexed and outside of the thighs. Hips behind, so maybe hands to the ground and move the hips back a little more so that you're able to be in a forward fold instead of a ragdoll body. From the side, it looks like this. <clears throat> if I'm in a forward fold body, I'll be able to sit up tall and fold. If I'm in a ragdoll body, my hips might be tucked under me and I'd be struggling to come forward. So when we see this in our own body, just based on the tightness we may be experiencing, we know we need to modify the pose. I could add a block under my knee and sit up tall leaning back. It's possible with the double pigeon that you might like to have a little bit more modification. You could take the double pigeon, I would soften this knee, with just one leg in the double pigeon, maybe a hand behind to help you sit up tall. If it's difficult to reach, perhaps a block under the hand helping to sit up tall. And maybe this extra hand back here near the hip, never on the knee, for all variations, pressing away and out while you lift up tall. This could be a really good double pigeon modification for you.